was passed, so to speak. Having said that, Umeno followed up with a first round TKO victory just a couple of months later that year. That Rise World Series 2019 61 kilogram tournament was phenomenal, folks. Go back to the archives and watch it on Fight TV. Genji Umino faced Lu Jun in the first round, took the victory, went on to face the Korean devil, Chan Hyong Lee, in the semi finals. Taiju Shiratori made his way, beating Hector Santiago in the first round, and then Sexan or Kwanwang in the semi finals, and they faced each other after that. And not just the 61 kilogram tournament, the 55 kilogram tournament also was outstanding. Sorry, let me correct myself there. That was the 58 kilogram tournament, which Tenshi Nazkawa faced Shiro in the finals, and we will see them today going at it for a second time in the main event of the evening. But right now, the bell has rang, and we're off to a start. Yeah, we're underway with two renowned Muay Thai specialists here. They've done it all in that world. Now the treasure of Japanese Muay Thai himself, Genji Umeno, is taking on Rise Newcomer and 200 fight veteran Norrising from Thailand. This fight set at 61 kilograms and three three minute rounds. Genji Umeno with the red tape, Norrising special gym with the blue. Very kick heavy early on in the first round. Both throwing solid thigh kicks. Lumino says, watch out there. I don't think there was any ill intent, of course. It even looked like Nora Singh didn't. No. Still no damage done to the Takoyakis. Takoyakis intact. The family jewels protected. Switching steps there, looking for the kick opening, throwing some feints. High kick going in there. Umino saying he can't catch the leg. Referee not giving a warning. Looking for a right cross, Genji Umino. Nora Singh. Covering up, blocking well and replying. Good work right from Umeno. Norrising the small of the two. Umeno with his classic Muay Thai stance. Very light on his lead left leg. One minute left in round one. Genji Umeno said pre-bout that he was destroyed, losing in the Dead or Alive tournament. Sorry, the World Series tournament. There's a down. Is that? Is Nora Singh going to reply to this? Nora Singh He's not. Thing. He's back on his feet. He says, OK, I was expecting a stoppage there. Umeno steps in, pouring on the pressure. His body language told a different story. He did say he was okay to continue. Not sure what that exchange is all about there, but they go back at it. Ten seconds left in round one. Blazing saddles here. Now Umino gets caught with the right hand of Nora Singh. Wow. Oh, kicking off there in the latter half of that first round. Yeah, breathtaking finale there to close the first stanza. That was all Umeno at the end there. <laughs> Let's take a look at the replay to see what went down there. Umeno popping out the jab. Ducks under the right hand. Yeah, that right hook down the button there. Norrison came forward, left himself open. All his forward 
momentum and body weight on that right hand of Umeno. Yeah, and it was very late into the count that Norris Singh started to come back to his feet as well. Yeah, the referee giving him the benefit of the doubt, and I'm glad he did. Yeah, as I was saying, Umino obviously was destroyed, losing to Shiratori and uh, having to pass the bat on to the, the, the youth, the new generation. But he does feel glad to be back here in the Rise Ring today to show the world that he's still up there with the best of the best. Yeah, he's an absolutely elite performer. He'd be pleased, I'm sure, to take on someone with a Muay Thai background as well. He'll have that degree of familiarity with the style. For sure, he'll have Norris in well scouted. He paid off in the first round. The reach and timing is all in the favour of Genji Umeno so far. Trying to work some knees from the clinch. It's not part of the rule set here in Rise. No, they do allow one or two to go in if they're not tight in the clinch, but yeah, it gets broken up very quickly. Two minutes and counting in the second round. Nice low kick there from Umino. Staggered Norrising for a moment. Oh, the right hand landed. Umino constantly one step ahead here. Yeah, he's really going to work now again in the second round. Umeno is the one pushing forward, but still. It's Norris who's trying to go back on the back foot, trying to respond. Got a little tied up in the ropes there, the Umeno. Respect shown from both men. Back at it. Norrison trying to cover up, trying to block those kicks from Umeno, replying with his own kicks, but not able to land anything upstairs so far. Trying now with the hands, but a reach difference, and Umeno using the distance in his favour. Yeah, that's literally a tall order for Norrison. Showing some difficulty with the height of Umeno. Rubino also said that he's a little bit more comfortable with the rule set now and he's, he's found out the techniques he, he can use in the rise rule set compared to the, the pure Muay Thai rule set. He's, he's found his techniques a little bit better now and he's found his distance and the, the techniques he can use within those different distances. That's definitely coming across in this bout as well. Although he does have the advantage of fighting someone who also has that Muay Thai style. Ten seconds left in round two. Genji Umino looking for the high kick. Nora Singh pushing forward, takes an uppercut to the chin. Back to the corners they go. Yeah, he's ended that second round strongly as well, like he did the first. Genji Umino's corner telling him to go to the body more. as our ring girls signify the third and final round coming up. Some eye candy for all you people out there. Here's some of the action from round two. Nora Singh just on the end of the exchanges every time. Umino going first, yeah. landing harder. He's coming off second best, Nora Singh, in nearly every exchange. Took the low kick there, tried to return, but Menu quickly evaded. Genji Umino, 32 years of age, just one year younger than Nora Singh, but showing just how hungry he still is. Third and final round. Show of respect. Popping out some light jabs, Genji Umino. Looking for the kicks on his way in with the punches. Nora Singh chasing him down now. A little bit more urgency from the tie. Umino says, nah, that's not enough. Catches him with the left hook. Going to the body. Nora Singh getting out of the clinch there nicely, but... <laughs> Here we go. 
for Cook. Inside. Calf kick from Uno. Doubles up and it goes to the body. Genji Umino laying it on here. Testament to how tough the tie is. He's taking a lot of damage here. Yeah, he's taking it somehow and still moving forward. He's frustrated though, he's cutting a frustrated figure, his body language. He knows this contest is getting away from him. Kenji Umino just seems to be landing at will here with those low kicks to the inside, to the outside, and with the boxing. Yeah, he's shown great variety in his offense. Umino's awareness is just superb. There's no substance really at the moment to Norrising's attacks. That range is giving him all sorts of problems. It is, but you can never count him out because he can pop up those high kicks onto the chin of Umino. And if he finds one landing on the spot, Umino will be in trouble. That's right, he just needs one shot. I like that combination from Umino with it. The right uppercut followed by the left hook. One minute left in the third and final round. Umino staying busy with the lead left hand. Looking for the one, two. Swaying back is Norrissey. Switching there into a nice middle kick, Genji Umino. A little bit of desperation it looked like from Norrissey there. Just trying to land something. 20 seconds on the clock, can Genji Umeno stop the incredibly experienced Tai? He's dropped him once already. Gora Singh special Jim standing his ground. It goes to the judges and there will be no possibility of an overtime round. Both men showing respect for each other. I think we can guess who gets the nod here. Solid work in that opening round from the Tokyo man, Genji Umeno. Yeah, really polished display from him. You can tell how motivated he was for this show today. And he's always, always in soup. Superb condition. You never see him run out of steam. You never see him in bad shape. Yeah, that's right. Great conditioning. 30-27. Umeno. Umeno. 30-26. Umeno. And another 30-26 in favor of Genji Umeno. It's a unanimous decision. Win. Resounding win for the Japanese fighter. No surprises at all there. This is the Rise World Series 2019. 61 kilogram eight man tournament. Runner up, Genji Umino, with a solid victory here today over an outstandingly experienced opponent. Not a six special gym making his way back. Yeah, he was a level above his tie opponent, Norrison, today. Plenty more to come still from Umeno. Oh, for sure, Mark, he's far from done. He's had a fantastic career so far. And it continues on here tonight, as you just witnessed. hear a few words from the victor himself. Thank you everyone for coming to support me here today. It's been a year and five months since I fought in Rise. It's been since the finals of the Rise World Series tournament. Rise no, eh, Moto Ojaremaru, eh, Kubo Kenji Sanni, 
、えー、パンチのテクニックをいろいろと教わって今回、試合に臨むことができて、まあ、少しではありますが試合にプラスに影響した、えー、結果を見せれたかなと思います。えー、いつも心から、えー、応援してくれてサポートしてくださる皆さんそして、えー、ウアン、えー、ケンジ君本当に今回ありがとうございました今後とも、えー、皆さんまた応援よろしくお願いしますありがとうございました皆さんありがとうございましたコーナーと皆さんの応援そして皆さんありがとうございましたそして皆さんありがとうございましたそして皆さんありがとうございました Defeat in the finals of the eight man tournament. That right hand in the first round, sending the tie to the canvas. Almost looked like he wasn't going to get up. He did, and it went the distance, but Genji Umeno walks away with a smile on his face, victorious. Big congratulations to Genji Umeno.